Hi everyone, I'm Paula. I'm Aaron. And we are currently cruising in the Bahamas on our Gulf Star Sailmaster 47 named Kismet. Mm -hmm. First off, we want to say a huge thankful thanks to everyone that's watching uh, the videos and giving us a thumbs up and a like. We really appreciate that. That really helps us get the, our videos out to like-minded viewers. Um, and we need a lot more subscribers to make this thing uh, even more popular and everything. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button. So this video is uh, something a little bit different than other videos that we've posted. Um, conch is a big deal here in the Bahamas and we found a local named Fire in Potter's Key who uh, gave us a really good demonstration and let us learn how to clean and prepare a conch. So we thought it would be fun to share. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we're hoping to post a lot more videos. We've already posted a few. We posted a lot of different kinds. We posted 360 videos, walks on the beach videos, some dolphin stuff. Let us know what you like in the comments and we'll post more of those and make sure um, we try and do that. So uh, I guess without further ado, this is Fire teaching us how to clean some conch uh, in Potter's Key, Nassau. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Okay. We call it the crown of the conch. All right. The same back part, this back part. The reason why we call it the crown of the conch is because it has spikes in a spiraling motion go straight around. Okay. okay. In between the third and fourth spike, somewhere anywhere with the wrong side here, we insert a hole. The hole is to free the conch up, to loosen the conch up off the shell coming the inside. There's one in there right now? Yeah, get a conch. As you can see, there's a conch inside of the shell. Okay. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And the big old shell. This is what we call a barrel. This okay. part determines the size of the cone. So the bigger this part is, the bigger the cone is. Okay. Not just this. This is what we call the lip of the cone. Okay. And part of the cone. Okay. Go here. Put a hole in between the third and fourth spot. Put a top hole in them. Aphrodisia, it produces a <laughs> specimen called the piston. What is that? This piston here is actually just salt water in a jelly form that grows in the cup. But it enhances the sex life. It gives you, gives us men the drive that we need. Okay? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do no, that, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's the energy. It's the energy. It's the energy. It's salt water. Don't be scared. It's salt water. Okay. All right. Not bad. Nah, they, Does they, it do anything they, for the well, yeah. ladies? Uh, I'm going to give you a little stamina. Yeah, so. Give you a little stamina. Yes, take it, take it. So you guys come before all of this is salt. <laughs> okay. All right. This is the lip. The reason why me and other conch vendors like to make conch salad is because we get lucky. Every blue moon, we get lucky to find a pearl. What happens is a grain of sand may touch, may touch the conch, but if it sticks to the conch and pulls to the conch, it becomes a cyst. Hmm. And in the in, in sea world, the cyst is a pearl. A sand turned into a pearl okay. as it grows in the cone. So some some pearls are valuable. My first pearl I got $6,000. What? I paid $2 for the cone. <laughs> it's like a lottery so, ticket, man. Exactly. So that's the reason why we like to make cone salad. So you usually find it alongside this red part, what we okay. call the lip. And this part right here on the right hand side of that, this is what we call slop, S-L-O-P. The Bahamian family, the Bahamian culture, we use that as fish bait. So whenever you're going fishing and you need like fish bait, mm -hmm. this is the ideal thing for fish catching fish. Okay. The same slop right Bot here. For bottom get. fishing? Or? Whatever type of fishing, as long as you cast in the line, <laughs> they will bite. Nice. Barracuda, stingray, sharks, Snappers, hogfish, mutton snapper, the whole works. All right. They go at that. Nice. Okay. So I cut that free. This one is a male organ. This is the male organ of the pump. Okay. This is the eyes. The eyes. This is the mouth. 
The mouth has a, a like a like a seedy type thing in its mouth, so it's kind of hard. You can feel it if you can feel it. You can feel it. So this is what we call the breast of the cum. The Haman terms we say Bobby. You know, mm -hmm. we have a different dialect and when we talk, so uh -huh. you'll say Bobby. You let people say, man, give me a Bobby skin salad. Give me a Bobby <laughs> cum salad. You know okay. What I mean? This is what they mean. This is soft and tender. Okay. And nice and chewable. You know what I mean? All right. So what we do? What I do for cleaning purposes is I cut around the horn. This is actually the horn. The same part right here. This is used to make tile. Um, what you call it? Um, like 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 artifacts, like like, like figurines and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, this, this part is used to make a lot of different things. Okay, okay. like souvenirs. So, yeah. So this actually the shoe of the cup. Call it the shoe, or we say the horn. Okay. Okay. So what we do here now, cleaning purposes, I cut underneath the eyes, the mouth, and the breast. I'm just gonna twist in a twisting motion, pull the skin off. Pull the skin off. Okay. This is what we call the belly of the cum. So what we do, we open that up. We open it up. Go underneath the guts, what's in there, and pull it back up to us. Thin part, and then we clear the rest of them. So, are you going to use the breast part? Yeah, some parts I use. They keep it because a lot of guests ask for okay. skin in the salad. So, I usually give them that part. They enjoy this part because it's soft and tender. Okay. And this is the part they want to the fix in. Chewy. Some people like to chew a lot. Mm -hmm. And this is how the cone looks when it's clean. All right. Do you eat all that except the shoot or the horn? Everything except for the horn. Ah, nice. Everything except for the horn is eatable. Perfect. Right, and that is what we call the conch experience. Now, right. did you catch on to what I did to get the conch off the chef? If you didn't, it's your turn to try. That's <laughs> <laughs> try. That's the only. What's your name again? Fire. Fire. I'm the fireman. You're the fireman. All right, we're here with the fireman. He's right. teaching us how to clean some conch. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> Don't worry about the water. All right. So here we go. So between like the said, third and fourth. Between the third and fourth. I would tell you do it there, but that's not gonna be. Easy. So you're gonna go right here. Right in there. All right. Just the empty hammer. Top it. See, in between there should be like thin shell, so it's gonna go through easy. Feel it, right? Right. There you go. Glide it straight across, like about an inch wide. Don't try to chip it, just top it, top it, you want it. Because you don't need a hole in there to push the knife in. Alright, there's a hole. Okay, now what you're doing, you need to make it a little bit wider. A little bit wider. Woo! Don't splash too much, you don't have to splash the knife though. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Now you get it? You get it, you get it. Underneath the meat, yeah. and then you twist. No, 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 no. This That's, one? Yes, to the shell. That's to watch the shell. That way? Push, yes, take your time. Be careful. You got up. Consistency with this hand pushing the knife because I don't want you to get cut. Right. Now you're pushing into the meat. Let me, let me give you a demonstration. Yeah. Push, see how the shell is? Uh -huh. Light the knife in the shell. And you just. Okay. See what That's loose. Alright. So just pull it out or? Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. That's what you do. Oh, wow. Now you actually got everything out. Sometimes when you take it out, this mm -hmm. gets left into the shell. What is so it? The shell is actually clean. This is the inside, it's the guts of the shell. Oh, cool. So I can. This yeah. one can actually be cleaned easily. In one day, it's clean. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, and that's how you do it. So <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you I'm coming back for a job next year. <laughs> <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out our Instagram and Facebook pages for more content daily. Please remember to like and subscribe as this helps our channel reach other like-minded viewers. Thanks for watching.